fucking dead end job. Dinner will be a tad late tonight, dear. How tad? Oh, about a half hour. I need to finish this banner for Oral. Save it. That come from between the legs. Oral, we've tried our best, young man, but it's high time we gave up. No! We just have to outlaw eggs, Miss Sensodal. They're evil. Please, quit saying that. Hey, I've got an idea. I don't think you get me. I am sexually challenged, a carnally disabled human being. I don't think that's what that sign means. Word nerd. Officer Papermouth, I think it's about time that you started forcing people into not buying sinful, disgusting eggs. Sorry, Oral, but I can only employ police brutality when it's officially against the law. Oh, well, how can we make that happen? Gotta convince the mayor, son. The mayor? Gosh. The mayor will see you now. Golly. Mr. Mayor, I'm here to suggest... Oral? Dad! What are you doing here? You're... you're the mayor? Uh, don't remind me. Stinking dead-end job. This is great! Now you can outlaw eggs! Whoa, now, my young man. That's serious business. It may make me unpopular with some very important people. Like who? Like Miss Sensodal, for one. She loves eggs. Oh, yeah, I know, but she still agrees with me. She does. Does she? Yes, sir. You I'll admit thing. she wasn't too crazy about Sensor the idea here. at first, but once I explained warning. to her that... to ratify the slightest embargo on ovular delicacy. We all know that eggs. Your days in office will be extremely numbered. <laughs> right along with us. I'm not so sure your Miss Censor doll really wants eggs illegal. But she said she did. Well, you see, Oral, people don't always say what's on their mind. They don't? That's silly. Oh, don't ever call it silly, son. Not saying what's on our mind is what this country's based on. But eggs still need to be illegal. Oral! Come on, Dad, you know they're wrong. Think about it. Think about where they come hmm. from. I mean, they practically squirt hmm. right out of that room. Really huh? Huh? Ah. I mean, golly, can you imagine uh, that? Okay, all right, you win. I'm disgusting. I mean, it's disgusting. Eggs are disgusting and illegal. Okay? Happy? You might shoot it off by mistake. There aren't any mistakes. But... Don't fuck me. <sighs> Hi, Yarl. How's the hunting leg treating you? Oh, really great, Mr. Figarelli. It doesn't constantly hurt a lot anymore. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sometimes I actually have moments where it just hurts a normal amount. Oh, uh, there's one now. Oh, oops. See you later, Les Payne. What's all this, Oral? Pain? Hunting leg? Yeah, my dad... The mayor? Uh, yeah, and I went hunting. The mayor went hunting and you were hurt? Well, my leg was. I shot myself. I see. The mayor's a responsible man. He couldn't do it. No, ma'am. In fact, he was extremely responsible for illegalizing eggs. Only a hunter could so bravely hunt down those criminals. Yes, ma'am. No, your father is certainly not a nester. A uh, nester? Yes, you know. A mother bird caring for her precious, fragile eggs. But eggs are evil. No, Oral. Eggs are life. Nesting is life. Hunting is death. It's what our good mayor runs this town on. Not life. Nesting. Um, anyone want to buy anything? No need for your lifeless prepackaged items, Figurelli. The seeds of spring have been well planted. See you in the fall, Oral. <laughs> Daffy Broad. Nesting. Stinking dead end job. Shouldn't you be campaigning to keep your stinking dead end job? Me? Campaign? What other person in his right mind would want to anchor himself to a situation like mine? Mayor Triarch. Oh, great! It's ready! Thanks, Mom! What's going on around here? Oral is Miss Sensordahl's campaign manager. <coughs> and now, please welcome the next Mayor Triarch of Marlton, Francis Clara Sensordahl! <laughs> 
citizen. Our fair town is yearning for the guiding wing of a nurturing, life-giving matriarch. Moralton will finally be shed free of its savage, nest-upsetting hunter mare who shakes our precious nest and shatters our fragile life eggs. Yikes. Would you like one milk? Here you go, sir. Oral. I know. Meet you in your study. Here you go. Would you like one milk? Here you go. Thank you. How, um, how are things? I think we should get right to the lecture and punishment because I have a lot to do. Whoa, ho, Mr. Busy. You had six months to talk. The last six months were not filled with you helping a madwoman campaign against me and my job. You don't even like your job. Like? Like? No one likes their job. Have you ever listened to anything I've ever said in here? Does this chair absorb my voice? Do all these dead animal heads eat my words before they get to your delicate little ears? Can I go now? You know that thing you do with your hands and mouth and throat and stomach? That thing called eating? Well, say goodbye to that thing forever if I lose my position in this town because of you. I will. Okay. You can go. Mayor Clayton, middle initial Puppington, how do you defend your recent prohibition on eggs? <gasps> Here we go. Reverend moderator, citizens of Moralton, friends, I have been criticized quite intensely for the outlawing of our little gooey breakfast buddies. I have been called a callous hunter by my esteemed opponent. Does hunting and death really pose such a horrible threat to this town? Death, dear friends, is the best thing ever. Death is the beginning of our everlasting life. The only eggs I smash are the eggs of filth, the inhuman eggs that squeeze with vile evil through the tantalizingly moist passage of feminine foul temptation, protruding from our mother bit by bit with wrongful, erotic, Succulence, completely enveloped by that soiled, evil, maternal opening. Mommy, I'm here. Uh, sorry. That's it. Vote Puppington. Okay. Miss Sincerdahl, your rebuttal? I have no rebuttal. I hereby concede to my worthy opponent and withdraw my candidacy for mayor. <gasps> what? Miss Sensordahl, what about your whole platform on nesting? Look, Oral, a lady has no business running for office when there are books to burn. See you at the library. Oh, Oral, I've been a bad dad, I admit it, okay? I'm sorry about shooting you, I'm sorry about the ignoring, blah, 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 all of that. Now that we've made up, you gotta tell me what that witch is up to. You gotta, Oral, please. People just don't say what's on their mind, Dad. Don't give me that! That's my line! Well, guess it's true. Well, of course it's true! The mind is a scary, scary, scary thing! Why? Because somewhere, way down deep inside, in its twisted catacombs and dank, dark hallways, there's an even scarier, more horribly monstrous entity. W what? Truth. Now, tell me the truth, Oral. Uh, I don't know, Dad. Uh-huh. Don't know? Okay, well, I take everything back! And I'm glad I shot you. I got some business to attend to. Why? Why did you withdraw from the election? Hmm, sit down. What do you have up your sleeve? You have special powers, don't you? Powers? Yeah. You made me shoot Oral. I know it. I had a dream. You flatter me, young Puppington. Young? I'm your age. In years, maybe. But I'm older where it really counts. <gasps> Looks? Hmm. And confidence. <gasps> You're right. I can't do anything. Wrong. You can do anything. Everything, as long as Mommy says you can. Mommy? Yes, Mommy. Mommy. 
What do I do? I'm at the end of my rope. My kid, my wife, two illegitimate kids. Oh, I wish there was something somewhere that I could pump full of my anger. Something that wouldn't produce another life. There is. <gasps> that, my dear Maya, is the only egg you'll ever find down there. Mm. 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 Yes, your mummy little hatchling. Mm. Fresh mm. Only ever. Oh, <sighs> 